Hi everybody, my name is Victor and this video will cover the 10 key items you need to bring with you when you serve on board a U.S. Navy ship. I was in the Navy for 7 years, I've served on the ship for 2 years, and I know all about it. I had a rack or a bed that I put my stuff under, a bed which is very small. Then I had a stand-up locker which was like a high school locker, which is also very small. And then I, there was a locker room that you could put some stuff in a sea bag or a luggage bag and put it in there. So you had three areas to put your stuff in and the fourth would be around the ship or in your space. So you kind of do have a lot of places to put stuff but majority of the time your stuff is going to be in your rack or in your stand up locker. So the 10 key items. Number one, a camera. I say a camera because you're going to be traveling all over the world and you want to make sure you're going to take pictures. If you don't have a camera how are you going to show people what you've done? How are you going to remember what you have done? It's very important to have. Okay. Number two, a laptop. This is technology day and age. Everybody's using computers. You're going to want a computer. Yes, you have computers on a ship, but you're going to want to do your own personal things. So definitely have a laptop. Plus, whenever you go in port in other countries, when you get off the ship, you're going to want to take your laptop to Wi-Fi hotspots and you'll be able to use your own laptop. Three, a Game Boy or some type of entertainment. Now you don't want to just be on your laptop all day and when you're working you can't carry your laptop around. So you want to have a Game Boy that you can pull and put in your pocket and just play games on the go. Four, a Kindle or some books. A Kindle would be easy to use because it's small and it's compact and you don't have to fill your rack up with a bunch of books but it just depends on you. I actually like having books but if you want to save space, get a Kindle so you can read. I didn't like reading on my computer. Maybe you don't need a Kindle. Five, bring some pictures or a keepsake. Put the pictures on your computer or bring something to remind you of your hometown. When you get depressed or lonely on board a ship, you're going to be out there in the middle of the ocean. You need stuff to remind you of your hometown. Six, a change of clothes. Don't just bring one or two pairs of pants. Bring enough to where you can look good and people don't think you're wearing the same thing all the time. So, but don't, at the same time, don't bring too many clothes because that's a mistake and then you're going to have a problem of how to deal with all these different clothes and having to do laundry and all the time. All right, number seven, you want to have access to personal information or personal documents. So if you want to save these documents on the computer or have some type of like safe box or something because they're going to be timed, especially if you're going to get a clearance. Make sure if you're going to get a security clearance, fill out a SF-86 before you even join. So you have all that information ready to go and it's going to be a lot easier to access because if you don't have all the information ready to go, when you're going through all the process of joining the Navy and going on a ship, you're going to need all these different things that you're not going to have with you and you're going to have to make phone calls and it's just tough to chase all this information around when you need it at that moment. Eight. Bring some Velcro and maybe get a tablet too. I know I'm talking a lot about electronics, but it gets really boring on a ship and you have to really find ways to entertain yourself. You get some Velcro so you can put it on your rack or your bed above you so you can Velcro your phone, your tablet, or any electronic device and watch movies without having to hold it in your hands. The only thing you don't have to worry about is your laptop because you can just put it on your lap, obviously. Nine, luggage bags. You're going to need two to five luggage bags, maybe one, depending on how much stuff you have, but you have to also think about the stuff you're going to get on all these other countries and make sure you can put it into those luggage bags. So you can actually have some stuff on the ship and not, it's not, you're not limited to just your rack or your stand-up locker. All right, and 10 is not necessarily a physical item, just to bring a good attitude because a lot of people get on a ship and they have a bad attitude and it's hard to work on a ship or work with people that have bad attitudes. So if you bring a good attitude and a positive mindset, the experience is going to be a lot better. It's going to suck half the time, but it's going to be a lot better and you'll be able to get through it. Now I'm going to give you four bonus key items just to think about while you're on a ship. Save room in your rack to put stuff that you're going to get at another country. You can go to Thailand and buy you a suit. Where are you going to put that if your rack is already full of stuff? Sometimes you don't want to always get in the sea bag locker. So you make you want to make sure you have some room to put new items when they come or at least make room when you know you're going to go somewhere don't just always have your rack packed to the brim all right now also remember to request monthly care packages from your family so that will you always want to have ways to positively stimulate your psychological um being while you're on a ship because 
it's real tough to live on a ship and you're always going to want to find ways to make yourself happy because every day you can wake up happy and then 10 minutes later you can be mad or depressed or angry so getting care packages at least maybe once or twice a month or two months will make you feel a lot better bring five locks with 10 keys because you're going to have to be putting locks on your luggage on your rack on your locker you're going to want spare keys so make sure you bring tough locks that nobody can't break into and people will steal your stuff because i've gotten my clothes stolen before and i would say the last bonus part is to stay single because i lived in japan and i had a great time great experience but you don't want to go especially if you're in your 20s 19 you don't want to get married so quick and then go to these great overseas countries and not be able to fully experience what they have to offer and that's really it so if you like this video or have any other comments about what you should bring on a ship please post them below and uh, have a good day shipmates